Hi there, boys and girls. So for your midterm, it would probably be beneficial to know these rules I wrote down for the non-calculator portion. Um, when you're doing product rules, just remember it's F G prime plus F prime G. Um, if you're integrating simple trig functions, like an example would be the integral of sine is negative cosine. So make sure you're familiar with those relationships. If you're deriving um, the, natu the natural log of something, just remember it's u prime over u. Generally when you're deriving um, these types of functions, u prime is only involved in the derivation and not the antiderivative. Okay, be sure to be able to identify removable and jump discontinuities. Um, limits tend to not exist at some of them, or for, um, they cannot exist at jump discontinuities. Um, know that continuity does not imply differentiability, but differentiability does imply continuity. Uh, for example, if a function is continuous, then that doesn't mean it's differentiable, but if it's di differentiable, it can still um, be a, uh, continuous. So if something is a cusp, it is continuous but not differentiable. Um, make sure you know re re relationships of position and velocity. Position, uh, velocity is the derivative of position, and position is the antiderivative of velocity. And know how to find specific locations and speeds if you're given one or the other. Okay, chain rule. Never forget to take um, the derivative of the inside of what goes inside of the chain. Remember, you take down your exponent and leave the general term the same, and then multiply it times the derivative of the inside. Okay, right, Riemann sums. We did an example in class, and you had to know that they overestimated or underestimated, and it depends on the slope of the graph. So I'll leave it up to you to decide. So this is helpful to be set to identify these type of these types of things in the non-calculator portion. Okay, the intermediate value theorem says that a value between a and b such as c is going to cross a specific line and therefore have one of the y values in the range of a and b. So that's supposed to be an a. I don't know if you can see it. But that, make sure you know how to distinguish the intermediate value theorem versus the mean value theorem, which is my next point. So the mean value theorem says that the average between the points of A and B, um, you can find F prime of C. This is going to equal F prime of C. So for the derivative of C, which is a C, is a point between A and B. We will use this formula to calculate that. Okay, so when you're taking the derivative of e to the u, know that uh, once it, it's going to be e to the u times u prime. And once again, remember that when you're finding derivatives of natural log functions and um, exponential functions, that u prime is only involved in, is helpful in finding the derivative as opposed to the integral. So um, do you still remember how to find your local and absolute extrema? So to find that, remember you have to do your candidates test in some cases, or you can just use your plus minus up down smile frown, smile frown relationships between f f prime and f double prime. Okay. Um, be sure to identify points of inflection and graphical relationships. So, for example, know that if Okay, f prime is going to have a point of inflection. Um, if you're given a parabola, there will be a point of inflection when the slope is zero. F, f in general is going to have a point of inflection when it changes concavity. So your point of inflection in this case is going to be somewhere along this line. And then if you're discussing points of inflection for f double prime, it's whenever it crosses the x-axis because f double prime equals zero. And to know these things, you should be set for the calculator portion of the exam.